Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of Gentlemen's Club Whiskey. I am your host, Mark Antimate, and today's video is going to be a continuation or a sequel to the last controversial video that I uploaded. That one was called, Is the Whiskey Bible's Writer Jim Murray Really Sexist? And I uploaded that video on September 28th. And uh, on that exact same day, uh, there was an article that had come out from The Times. If you don't know what The Times is, The Times is like, it's like the London version of the New York Times with a very similar name, mind you. And uh, they have a subscription-based website that you can pay to uh, get their news and things like that. And me, myself, I am not a subscriber of the Times News, but uh, they had this very good article up, and it's the only article up about uh, this situation and looking at it from another angle and talking about the hypocrisy of someone. And I really wanted to read this article, so, you know, I had to go through the loops and hoops and all that stuff, and... Um, yeah, just to get that article unlocked because, yeah, got to go the, f the route of the free trial, I guess, for one month. But um, anyways, before we get right into it, this is the one that I got with me today. Uh, the Hakushu Single Malt Whiskey, the No Age Statement. I've already poured a dram of this and um, I'm going to have... A couple of sips before I really get started on this one. Smells like the forest. Tastes like the forest as well. A very good no age statement dram. One of my favorites. I don't drink it hardly, hardly enough. I got, let's say about 60% of the bottle still left. It's going quite slowly, but it is going. And eventually it will be gone. Mm. Very light. Very light. So I hit my sip, put my top on this and sit this to the side. Have another sip later as we finish. Also, before we get started, if you're not a fan of that guy's book or you don't like the... Uh, the so-called sexist things that he said, which I say were not sexist at all, but rather just vulgar, but not sexist. But anyways, you got something against that guy. You don't want to get his book. My brand new book, 50 Japanese Whiskies, out now on Amazon and uh, from uh, ebook. And I guess you can get it from brick and mortar. If if you get lucky enough, you might find it in there. Uh, hardcover, I got the paperback edition, which is more affordable. Hardcovers for the collectors that spend Bitcoin on their whiskey collections. And they need uh, a showcase book to go with their showcase whiskeys. On the showcase shelf, that's tongue-tying. Make sure you get that one, the hardcover. So, let me go ahead and get started with this article from the Times that had come out on the 28th. I know I'm reporting about this quite late. It took me a long time to acquire this article because I was trying to see if there was <laughs> other means I could go through uh, for getting it without having to uh, subscribe for a month and put in all my credit card information and stuff just to get it. But finally, I was able to obtain the article uh, from the print paper, believe it or not. And I will put that up on the screen and let you guys see that uh, as I'm reading it but I think I think the font size is going to be too small on that for you guys to actually read along with me but yeah uh, you know I'll put it up there just to show you guys so this Times article the Times article London-based newspaper this article is written by Mark Horath on September 28 2020 and the title of this one is called Woke Whiskey Critic Accused of Hypocrisy. I'm going to do a lot of speaking. Let me have a drink of water real quick. 
make sure that my throat is good for this. All right. Here we go. So uh, there is a small picture inside of the article and the caption on that one reads, the whiskey Bible guidebook was called sexist as the Times reported last week. With this bitter taste that stays on the palate for days, the row that is causing ructions in the world of whiskey has taken another twist. Jim Murray's best-selling Whiskey Bible Guidebook has been subject to a wave of criticism over the past week for the use of lascivious language to describe drams. When the writer Becky Paskin first registered her disapproval on social media, it snowballed fast into a wider soul-searching about sexism within the industry. As several distilleries and distributors began heeding Paskin's call to shun Murray's annual, a fevered debate began about freedom of expression and the extent of, uh, quote, cancel culture, unquote. Now that it seems that the tables may be turning in this tale of 21st century sensibilities clashing with one of the most traditional of all Scotland's cultures. Paskin, who described herself last week as a, quote, proud champion of equality and diversity in the industry I love, unquote, has had her own track record as a self-confessed woke writer put under the microscope, particularly con concerning her time as editor and deputy editor of a series of trade magazines between 2011 and last year. Among the products she chose to highlight in the spirits business were a German whiskey that had been, quote, poured over the breast of a naked model before bottling, unquote, and a brand of gin, quote, handing out pink roses and kisses to the ladies, unquote. In the magazine Big Hospitality in 2011, she plugged the reopening of the Playboy Club in London quoting the desire of its founder, Hugh Hefner, to share, quote, the concept of good food and drink and pretty girls, unquote. In 2013, as the Spirits Business, at the Spirits Business, as Playboy launched its own brand Spirit, she wrote, quote, the face of vodka is set to adopt a set of bunny ears, unquote. In an other issue she ran, an interview with Salvatore Calabrese, a Playboy Club bartender, who told her, quote, Your drink needs to be like a beautiful woman. It must look great, smell incredible, and taste divine. A beautiful woman can turn heads when she walks into a bar, and you want your drink to do that too, unquote. The passage is reminiscent of one by Murray, 62, that Paskin branded disgusting last week, describing Glenn Merengue artisan cask. The acclaimed critic uh, wrote, quote, if whiskey could be sex, this would be a woman. Every time I encounter Merengue artisan, it pops up with a new look, a different perfume and mood. It appears not to be able to make up its mind, but... Does it know how to pout, seduce, and win your heart? Oh, yes, unquote. Let me stop, have another drink of water real quick. All right, here we go. Among the other 33 references to sex that Paskin found offensive in the Whiskey Bible was a uh, pain to Canadian Club Chronicles. Water of Windsor, which read, quote, Have I had this much fun with a sexy 41-year-old Canadian before? Well, yes, I have. But it was a few years back now, and it wasn't a whiskey. Was the fun we had better? Probably not, unquote. Glenn Merengue is among the brands, also including the global giant Beam Suntory, and the Scotch Whiskey Association to have distanced themselves from the Whiskey Bible. Last night, 
Dominic uh, Rossgrove, the editor in chief of Whiskey Quarterly, claim uh, that there was distinct parallels in the past output of Paskin and Murray. He said uh, the Calabrese comments on garnishes are almost exactly the same as Jim Murray's comments. And I thought the vodka poured over a woman's breast was a joke, but it seems not. That's appalling and regurgitating the information is gratuitous bordering on titillation. Not every press release needs to be published. Not every quote needs to be included. And an editor has the discretion over picture selection and headlines, unquote. Ross Grove called on both writers and whiskey companies themselves to honestly reflect on the way they had presented whiskey in the past in an attempt to find common ground for new industry standards. He added, quote, Some of the responses in the past week have been supercilious, patronizing, and ultimately pointless. Most of us agree that the attitude towards women is unacceptable, so what are we going to do about it? Unquote. Murray said, Murray says he is a sensualist, not a sexist, and told the Herald on Sunday he would not apologize to the woke brigade. Paskin was asked to comment, and that's where the article ends, and I think we are still waiting on a comment on all these uh, allegations against Becky Paskin. Will she answer this? Probably not. Um... Talk about double standards there. I mean, she's kind of being a hypocrite. And I can see some reason as to why. If you were to go to Instagram, you take it to Instagram. Uh, let me see real quick. Let me see if I could find this just really, really quick. She's started a new business venture, so to speak, and the title of it is called Our Whiskey. So if you search Our Whiskey in Instagram, you'll come up with the page O-U-R Whiskey, and that's whiskey without, without a K-E-Y. And uh, the, little, the little heading here says Celebrating Diversity, Champion, Championing Inclusion, Recognizing the modern face of whiskey, hashtag. So, I think a little bit this whole Murray situation coming up and her throwing him under the bus, even as he's been writing for 20 years, why just now do it at the time that, you know, your our whiskey campaign or business venture or whatever this thing is is brand new why throw him under the bus now and not before and uh why be a hypocrite and say that he's saying sexist things but you're okay with things that you let slide and go inside of your magazine that are essentially the same and uh how f how forgetful we are of our own sins but are quick to judge somebody else on theirs and like i said if you uh, heard me talk about this before, you know that uh, ultimately I've had a change of heart. And although I agreed with ba uh, Becky Paskin when I first heard this news, uh, ultimately I slept on it. I had a conversation with a friend and I slept on it and I woke up the next day with a complete change of heart. And I don't think what he says at all is sexist, just as I like to say, is just vulgar. And you might not like vulgar talk inside of your whiskey books and things like that. And that's OK. You don't have to. You don't have to read it. But uh, he does have the freedom of speech and he does have the right to say what he wants to. And this cancel culture, as it's called, and these woke people trying to throw people under the bus for attention. I don't like it one bit. I don't like it at all. And uh, Becky is winning. Yeah, she's winning no points with me. And uh, th 
This article came out at the right time. Everybody's talking about the things that she said on social media when she threw him under the bus because it came out simultaneously on Facebook and uh, and on her Twitter. But nobody is talking about this article that's calling her out on her. Not not lies, but calling her out on her. On her hypocrisy, as the, the title of the article says. <sighs> it angers me to my core because. I don't like these feminists being feminists for the sake of. Trying to force us to recognize them. And when I when I say force us to recognize them, I mean. They're stirring up controversy for the sake of attention and I dislike it. She's garnering attention in the wrong way. I mean, why can't you put out your message without without throwing somebody under the bus? Why does it have to be that way? And just these things that she let slide inside of all of her print magazines that she was editor or deputy editor for. I mean, it it says it says more about her than what it says about uh, him, Jim Murray. But anyways, it is what it is. I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention. You know, I don't shy away from the controversy. This is the news. She started it. I'm finishing it. But I don't think many of you are going to see this video or recognize it. But I'm just I'm just letting you know the truth that there's two sides to every story. Anyways, let me go ahead and finish my dram real quick. Listen, let me have a sip real quick. Step back, take a quick break. I'm all about gender equality. And I'm all about the equality of women and men. We all should be on an equal playing field. You shouldn't have any sexist things said towards you or about you and whatnot. Uh, But this is this is a completely different situation here. I don't feel like she's fighting for equality. I feel like she's just trying to guide traffic to her our whiskey project and to herself. And it's more selfish than it is selfless. And I just don't like it. Anyways, I'm done giving my opinion on the matter. I'm just going to go ahead and close this video out. Let me go ahead and finish my whiskey off real quick. Hakushu single malt whiskey, no age statement. One of the best, one of the best. Mmm. Very nature like. You don't like his book? Get mine. There's no vulgarities in it. There's no sexism talk or anything that you're going to disapprove of. The whole book is about whiskey through and through. You won't be disappointed. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Anyways, salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. Make sure that you drink responsibly. And as always, gentlemen, you guys know what to do. Keep it classy.